This is where we're in like Tennessee's offense versus LSU. This past week, they had a great showing on both sides of the ball. Really set up for a big home game this week against Alabama. But we'll take a look at a couple of schemes that they had this past week. The very first thing we want to look at here is they just motion. They get three receivers into the boundary. And they do a few different things off it. Right here, they motion. And the motion guy goes and gets the man over the top of the outside receiver. He blocks the man on right here. And right here, LSU kind of helps him out with that motion to get the three to the boundary. They end up sliding this guy into the box. Now he's playing there. He's trying to get there to make the numbers right, playing man-to-man. -man. As soon as that ball is snapped, he's right there playing physical, blocking the crap out of that corner right there. Easy throw and catch. Quarterback catches it. Looks like they're running zone base. Might be reading that guy or it might be a pre-snap thing right here. Flips his hips, get the ball out, puts it on his chest. That is a lot of space right there on that key screen. Getting about eight or nine right there on just a first and ten on an easy throw and catch right there because LSU helped him out slid into the box instead of getting the numbers right for that RPO. So right here, obviously if you're taking four down to the mic, that could be your read, but this is so quick. Also might just be a pre-snap throw and catch right there. Here's another look, getting motioning out right here. LSU decides this time they're just gonna play extremely far off and bail and give the guys 15, 20 yards of cushion. Obviously DBU, or they kind of say that they are, but right here those guys are not wanting a piece of that. They're backing up. Easy block there, he's coming around, he's gonna block whoever shows up next. So right there, easy read. So much space out there, they're playing way off. Take your completion, get a free first down. Good job right there. Just position blocking right there, moving his feet. Allow your guy to make a cut off of you right there for a big play from Tennessee. Just a free completion there, given up by LSU. People's faces getting smushed into the ground. Right here, hand to the face, drives him right into the ground. That's just one of those things when you're DBU. Uh, you can't have that stuff happen. A really good job right here. DND tackle playing extremely hard. He chases down the receiver about 25, 30 yards down the field. Great play here by this D tackle. So we've seen Tennessee motion these guys out and run those quick screens off of it. Right here they motion out and what they end up doing is running a slot fade. So he gets out here and basically runs an arrow. He runs a hitch. He runs a slot fade. Not sure if this is a deep choice or just a straight slot fade. With a single high safety, I would say, hey, we definitely got to run that slot fade. Probably not going to be able to bend that thing to the middle of the field. And everybody else is just basically trying to keep a guy low. So they're trying to keep these guys low, go one-on-one -on -one here. This back even releases, just kind of checks down right there. So as you see, there's an arrow. He's running a hitch. Free release. We're getting on that safety as fast as we can, and we're rolling. Just a little bit of a play fake here. Six-man pro. There's no blitz. There's no reason to hang out. So he's making himself a viable option, trying to shake the thing down. And then Hooker lets his guy work, steps up, throws an accurate ball right there, runs right under it for a huge touchdown right here. Amazing throw and catch. Good job having set this play up with those keys. Right here, same play, same motion from Tennessee. Again, bringing him out. Slot fade, hitch, you got an arrow. Bit of a fake there with the back, and they're trying to let this thing ride. As you see, this safety rolls down hard once they see that motion. He's going to get down to it. He's got to have to get back one-on-one -on -one right there with about six yards of cushion with a DB. So right there, again, play fake across. There's the hitch. There's the arrow. You're one-on-one -on -one with that slot fade. Lay that thing out there. See what your guy can do. Right there, he gets a step on him. Ball is not quite as perfect. And right here, you're getting a PI call. He obviously gets there a little bit early. So, again, one of those things. With that motion, they set that up with those screens because they want to come down and play. They don't want to just give up free yards like they did earlier. Now they're having to play those verticals with not just a ton of cushion. And right here, they burn them just a little bit. Not a perfect throw and catch, but obviously sometimes you get those PIs as well as those explosive plays. We just play here on third and eight where Tennessee has a few things going on right here. So they got a six-man pro versus six-man box. So the pro should be fine. You're basically looking for man or zone. And right here, you're getting a vertical switch. He's going to the seam. He's coming outside, running a vertical read. But over here, they get a bit of a rub. So this inside receiver goes at the corner. As you see the ball snapped, he's running at the corner. He's releasing, pacing himself a little bit, and he's gonna break in on a slant or square in. So there's the rub. It's kind of hard to see here, but right there, he's running basically at DB. Gets a little bit of a rub on him, creates that space. Good ball right there on his face. So now he can get vertical and get the first down, which is what they do right there. So third and eight, probably looking for man or zone. This is probably the zone beater. This is probably the man beater with the rub. And right there, good decision. Good accurate throw by Hendon Hooker. Good play, come to the middle of the field, extend his body just a little bit, making the play and then getting vertical right there to make sure he gets the first down. Good look here, Tennessee just running verts over here on this side. They're running a bit of a rub slant over here on this side as well. So right here, 
a little bit of a play action. There's the seam. If you like it, take it. But right here, that's kind of tight. This safety's a little bit tight as well. Up top, you got a vertical read. He's playing off. Gets to the sticks, puts the brakes on, and comes back downhill. Good timing on this throw. Keeps the receiver running back to it, so he's running away from the DB. Good throw and catch. Not awful coverage there by the DB, obviously. You'd like to be a little bit tighter, but right there on that vertical read, if you keep this guy running back, it's going to be really hard for that DB to make a play. Uh, so right there, good throw and catch there in the red zone. Getting on the first and 10, getting up there for a first down, getting first and goal. Another look here at Tennessee running four verticals. Again, he's going vertical here, vertical. You got some kind of a vertical read on the outside. Same thing down here at the bottom. And right here, if you're looking at it, he's pretty tight here. That's what he ended up going to, but he gets out of frame just a little bit. So what Tennessee does quite a bit is getting some kind of a run action there with the running back almost every time that they're throwing the ball. And right here, you got a four-man rush, single mic in the box, so you're great there as far as protection. Good fake. Quarterback gets his eyes around. And he could possibly throw in this window right here if he really likes it. The slot receiver is going to bend across right there. If you like it, take it. If not, reset. Go outside. And right there, he drills it. With that much space, it's pretty obvious that guy must have been playing off. Now they can run that comeback. Easy throw and catch right there. Good time to call it. First and 10. Good execution right there on first and 10. Creating an explosive play. Here's a look at some motion that I think kind of messed up LSU and what they're doing. So right here, motion, fullback or receiver. I'm not sure if he was over here in trips or if he's in the backfield in the twins or whatever. But they motion him all the way out to the number one receiver. And as you see right here, before the ball is snapped, the DB realizes he's going to have to slide outside and man that guy up. And whenever he slides outside to man that guy up, they don't really communicate whether this is totally man or zone. He's thinking it's his zone. He's thinking he's manned up on that guy. He goes vertical. It's a one high look. He's rolling away right there. Again, trying to get a little fake. He saw the rush coming, so he boards that fake and he gets out there, picks up that guy right there. He's playing zone. He's playing man. Right there, he pops free. Good timing right there on that seam. Good job putting it on his body, keeping away from that safety. You don't want to just put air on it and allow him to come over and make a play. Put it on his body. Now you're one-on-one -on -one with literally the entire field, one safety, and your slot receiver creating explosive plays right there just with a little bit of motion and not quite communicating right there for LSU, able to create an easy, almost uncovered look right there for a big play. Great job recognizing it. Great design there by Josh Heupel. This is a pretty interesting call here. They motion their back out, let him get set, and they end up running power that direction, running it with the shovel. So obviously you're going to have an inside gap, backside linebacker, inside gap, backside linebacker right there when he motions out it actually takes this linebacker that should be fitting in the box right there all the way out there is now no linebacker until he bumps back and that was kind of the extra guy so once he bumps back now he is the guy that's getting pulled for so if you're looking at power he's probably blocking there probably blocking there to the back side he is pulling for that guy if you take care of that guy by going flat let him come here for the shovel if he comes to the quarterback shovel that thing down to him now you're rolling for a big play uh, right there as you see he does a good job catching it going flat that direction dn gets aggressive gets up field easy pitch right there there's the guard that just pulled around you see him pulling here from the back side pulling there to kick nice easy toss kicks him out there's the linebacker from the back side didn't quite get up to him but right there got the first down on a fourth and two if they get up to this backside linebacker there is nobody left Right there, he scrapes a little bit far over the top. They're not able to get a piece of him. If he scrapes tighter and they pin that, there's literally nobody left. He's getting into the end zone right there. So interesting call there from Tennessee on a short yardage play. Here's a look of something that looks kind of like a bang eight, but I think it's some sort of a choice route or maybe just where you said, hey, you're going to beat that guy with speed. They have a seven-man pro here, and this is not a run. So right here, as you're watching, as far as the pro, it looks like he's full sliding that way. He's getting there. Running backs there as well. Trying to take what's going on. LSU brings a bit of a blitz. They're one-on-one -on -one here with the DB. Slot receiver, and all he does is he gives a little bit of a break to the middle. DB's falling down. Easy throw and catch right there. Those wide splits, as you see, the ball's all the way on the hash. And he's almost at the top of the numbers. So right there, going to play fast. Try to step on his toes right there. Just give him a little bit of a jab. Boom, there's the jab. Trying to beat him to the middle field. DB slips. Easy throw and catch right there for a touchdown. Here's a good example of Tennessee playing fast right here. You can see the umpire getting out of the way. There's 30-something left on the play clock, and they're just running zone base. So right here, you can take four down plus the backside linebacker. So right there, he's going to fold in for the mic. Quarterback's actually going to read right here. This guy's unblocked right there, obviously. Sure, you goal line, the goal cover zero, all that stuff. But again, with the great tempo and a little bit of movement, great double team right there. He's folding in for that middle linebacker. He's paused. You can see the quarterback's eyes. If this guy would have blitzed through the B gap right there or hard off the C gap, he could get a pull. 
and he could run. But right there, gets the hand. Free hitter here in this safety. He's a little bit unsure where to fit. With that double team, he gets a strong left arm, throws him into that gap. Good patience there by the running back. And he's able to walk in for a touchdown right there, going up 37 to 7 in the third quarter. So again, getting downhill, read that double team, be patient. And right there, once he sees that daylight burst, walks into the end zone right there. Great execution with that tempo and good job playing with physicality, getting downhill, getting into the end zone. 